Well, what if I was to tell you that uh, Breath of the Wild 2 is releasing this year? Not just because I think it is, uh, but what if I told you I had a counter report to what was stated yesterday by Zippo on our E3 leaks video? What if I was to tell you a more reputable source, someone who's a bigger deal than Zippo, has come out and stated, or really inferred massively, that Breath of the Wild 2 is coming this year? Excited yet? All right, so I'm going to first go over uh, what Zippo said yesterday. For those who don't know who Zippo is, if this is the first video you've seen of me, the first video you've heard, Zippo is a well-known, well-regarded leaker uh, on Reset Era who has gotten a bunch of information correct in the past from Paper Mario and, and, and just a, a whole slew of them. Paper Mario is one of the biggest ones because he got the title correct on that one. Uh, but yeah, he's he's just been a really big uh, leaker over the years. He's never been 100% correct. But yesterday he put out a blog post he's been promising for a while going over all of the various things he knows and has heard about happening at Nintendo. And we did a video on that yesterday about E3 leaks and Nintendo leaks. Uh, for the you know the upcoming year, and there was a lot of really good stuff in there, including a new Mario Kart game or Nintendo Kart or something like that. Uh, very exciting stuff. But in that whole mess was kind of a damper on Breath of the Wild too. And you guys have seen the reports everywhere, right? It, it's literally on like Game Rant. It's on Express. UK. Like it, it, it's it's hitting a lot of major outlets even still today. Uh, what Zippo had to say about Breath of the Wild too, and how it's releasing next year. Not this year, but I I finally went through and reread Zippo's blog post because he did do some updates today that we might talk about in other videos. But he didn't update the Breath of the Wild section. But in rereading this section, it actually made something stand out to me, and specifically it made it stand out because Mr. Jeffrey Grubb, Jeff Grubb, baby. Uh, if you don't know who he is, he is a video game journalist. All right, he works for, I think it's a Video Game Chronicle. I could be wrong on that. Uh, I'm trying to remember his exact... Anyway, he is a, a big name in the journalist kingdom. He does the Jeff Grubb Game Mess live stream over on Twitch Monday through Friday. Uh, and he has a bunch of industry inside information. He's the one who told us we're getting the Wind Waker and Twilight Princess HD for the 35th anniversary of Zelda. And every time he tells us stuff... He's basically right. He, he, as an example, he knows roughly around the time the next Battlefield game is going to get unveiled, right? So, like, it's not going to be at, you know, the July uh, EA Play event. They're going to unveil it in June, apparently. So, yeah, he, he's got a bunch of inside information, uh, and he talks about what he's able to talk about that's not locked down under NDAs, of course. Uh, and he put up a post uh, that basically said that Breath of the Wild 2 is coming this year. But first, let's get into Zippo. So here's what Zippo said on his blog. So Breath of the Wild 2. Many are wondering if this is the year it releases. After all, it was announced about two years ago. I'm going to go and say no. If any Nintendo game was affected by the pandemic, it was this one. From what I have heard, the game is nearing completion. But a release by the end of the year just isn't seeming feasible. The game needs a bit more time, and with the last year in mind, that's entirely understandable. What I foresee is Nintendo doing at E3 is finally busting down the doors on the game and giving fans and the press tons of details on it with a spring 2022 date attached to it. But that's just my prediction on it. And he has this in a specific section on his post where he says things he's not sure about. But everyone ran with this, and I, and I put it in my video yesterday, uh, and I, I didn't make the headline Breath of the Wild 2's delay, but a lot of people are, are talking about how, you know, Leaker Insider is saying, you know, Breath of the Wild 2's delayed. But Jeffrey Grubb, Jeffrey Grubb came up, because he, he's speculating, right? He, he, he is he's giving his educated guess that Breath of the Wild 2's coming in 2022. But Mr. Jeff Grubb put out a tweet yesterday, because um, Sony fans were kind of celebrating Horizon... Um, Forbidden West, right? Horizon Forbidden West is a big game coming to PlayStation later this year. It's going to be on PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5. Uh, and, yeah, that with Final Fantasy 15, no, 16. Final Fantasy 16 are, like, the big games that Sony's, like, banking on for their holidays. And that's great. 
Uh, it was slated to come out in 2021. Fans were worried it was going to be delayed. And then Sony basically reconfirmed yesterday that no, Horizon Forbidden West is going to be a 2021 title. And because, you know, it didn't look like Nintendo has anything major coming, it doesn't look like Microsoft might have anything coming around the time, at least, that for Horizon Forbidden West might be coming out uh, later this year, that, hey, you know, woo, Horizon Forbidden West is enjoying, you know, its own launch window with nothing major in Repeating it, Sony fans were like getting super excited about it. Well, Jeff Grubb tweeted out a meme, and the meme is that that you know the Jeff Momoa where where he's sneaking up on uh, on on the uh, uh, Henry Cavalier who plays uh, Superman and obviously uh, is in I probably butchered the pronouncement of his name, uh, and he's also obviously the guy who plays Witcher and plays Geralt. So here's the thing, um, we all know that meme, right? Because factually, you know. Jason Momoa did sneak up on him uh, on the red carpet there and surprise him. Uh, and what's happening is uh, it says, the, <laughs> it specifically says, uh, Horizon Forbidden West is, uh, is getting a release window to itself. All right? But then Jason Momoa is Breath of the Wild 2 sneaking up. Uh, so it, it heavily suggests, of course, uh, that Jeff Grubb has heard and totally expects Breath of the Wild 2 is coming around the same time Horizon Forbidden West is later this year. And I actually find the idea of Horizon Forbidden West and Breath of the Wild 2 releasing around the same time in 2021 to be highly intriguing. You want to talk about console wars. You want to talk about fans going at it. There already has been heavy debates in the past over what's the better game. Is it Horizon Zero Dawn or is it Breath of the Wild? A lot of people conclude, well, Breath of the Wild is the one that won the Game of the Year awards. Breath of the Wild is higher rated on Metacritic. Breath of the Wild sold better. Uh, although Horizon Zero Dawn is no slouch in sales. Uh, it sold better than any prior Zelda game before Breath of the Wild did. So, yeah, Horizon Zero Dawn is a big deal, and it is factually a very good game. So there's always the debate because those are like action-adventure-style games that are exclusive to Sony and exclusive to Nintendo, and, like, you know, there, there's always going to be that head-to-head -head comparison and head-to-head -head pitting of fans. Now imagine, those games didn't actually release even in the same year, let alone the same release window. So imagine Horizon Forbidden West and Breath of the Wild 2 come at each other around the same period later this year. Wouldn't that be just insane? Can you imagine the debates that are going to rage? And I'm going to play both of them. So it's going to be a lot of fun for me as well to be like, hey, I get to play both of these like around the same time. That's awesome. So what I'm, what, what, what the big takeaway from this is that Jeff Grubb is basically throwing out there, hey, uh, Breath of the Wild 2 is coming this year. Horizon Forbidden West fans, don't like get so cocky to think that you're not going to have any game potentially competing with Horizon Forbidden West when it comes out. Because, yeah, you're not you're, the Zelda fans, you're going to hear from them. You're going to hear from Zelda fans because Breath of the Wild 2 is coming around the same time, at least from what we're seeing here from Mr. Jeffrey Grubb. Uh, I find this to be uh, highly awesome. And even when you go back and look at what Zippo said, uh, because he's guessing, right? He, he's doing an educated guess. And his educated guesses are usually pretty accurate. But he does say he knows the game is nearing completion. So he knows it's nearing completion. He knows Breath of the Wild 2 is almost done. But he's just assuming because of the pandemic. Because remember, he says, if any Nintendo game was affected by the pandemic, it was this one. He's presuming the pandemic has caused the game to be slightly delayed into 2022, early 2022, but still, he's presuming. He doesn't actually know. He just knows the game is almost done. And we have heard uh, from other sources that localization is done. Localization is one of the final things that happens. Uh, so yeah, I, I honestly feel 2021 seems locked in. So some fans were kind of disappointed when they saw that news yesterday, of 2022. So I felt like I really needed to make this video to let the breath of the wild fans out there know, Hey, don't lose hope. Jeff Grubb is giving us hope. There's a lot of reasons to think that breath of the wild two is still launching in 2021. We're just gonna have to wait for E3 for confirmation. That's the big thing. We will hear from Nintendo then. I also have a video coming later today on when we're going to find out Nintendo's E3 plans. Uh, and then we'll dive into what some of those E3 plans might be. I know we've talked a lot about Nintendo's potential E3 plans, leaks, rumors, my expectations. But now we have a good idea of when Nintendo's going to be announcing those plans uh, from, a, from a reliable source as well. Not Samus Hunter. Samus Hunter, by the way, 
was telling what was just talking about when Nintendo was going to share plans internally. Uh, now we have a, a decent idea of when to expect those plans to come out because I know every single week people are like, "Oh man, when's Nintendo going to drop the E3 news?" When? Well, we now have an idea. Uh, of when that's going to happen so that's going to be coming up in a new video and don't worry i'm going to be trying to package some other things in with that news so you kind of get a kind of a double or triple feature there so thank you guys so much for tuning in and i'll catch you in the next video